Hello and welcome back to Morning Farm episode 4. So, we just got a visit from Clint and uh, he's saying that it's good that we've been finding some ore and he's saying that he's got a blueprint for a furnace for us. Now we can use the furnace to use uh, to turn copper ore into copper ingots and all sorts of ore into ingots. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Perfect, thank you, Clint. So, he's saying you can upgrade the tools. And, well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Thank you, Clint. So, new journal entry. Craft a furnace. What's it take to craft a furnace? 20 copper ore and 25 stone. And Pierre is advertising his backpack. So let's start the day as we should do by watering the crops. Always has to come first. There we go. Like a crop, you should probably start the day with some water too. It always helps out. So let's finish watering the crops. And now let's go into this chest and grab our field snack from the last episode. So we'll eat that. There we go. And now let's go and visit the store and see if we can um, see if we can get any seeds. Remember, the more seeds we plant, the more crops we get when they grow. And there's a quest. A gold bar. See, I don't think we're ready for that just yet. And we're not ready for the store either, because it's locked. So, when does the blacksmith open? 8am. Let's go and do that first. Got a geode to break. I wonder how he breaks the geode. Does he use a big hammer? Or does he use a maybe a press? Either way, let's find out. Oh. Hang on a second. Ah, they open at night. See if I must get inside the basement. Number three, two, there we go. And let's process this geode. Oh, he uses a hammer. There we go, we've got some coal. I wouldn't call that worth it, 25 gold for some coal, but it's better than nothing. And it's time now, uh, so the store will be open and we'll be able to grab some seeds. So we'll grab one of each, if we can carry them. We can't sell the coal in here, that would have freed up a bit of space. And we'll grab some... We'll grab some jets. Here we go. And that's what we can grab. For today at least. Oh, we'll grab some more tulips. And let's head along and plant those up. So let's plant our new crops in and amongst the rest. There's some beans. Let's give them a water. Oh. And let's plant some cauliflower and give those a water. So we have another seven seeds. So let's till, till the uh, soil and get those down. That's five, six, seven. Perfect. That's some potatoes, some tulips, and some more jets. There we go. So once we have a bit of a bigger farm, we could have different patches for each. Reach type of plant. And now let's 
Actually, let's drop the coal first, and then we'll explore and see what we can find. We've got four coal. That's pretty good. So let's head up along and we'll see if we can grab that dandelion we saw earlier. Oh. And let's talk to this lady. That's Haley. She said she's going to organise her clothes. Sounds like a good use of the day. Making sure everything's organised is always helpful. Wow, we found some more leaks. Taking a leak by the river. Oh, I'm not sure our water and pumped there, but maybe it did. A bit of erosion. So I'm going to keep exploring and I'm going to see if we can find any more crops to forage. We should say hi to Marnie. Marnie runs the cattle farm here. Maybe the terms are large. So, you can buy hay, shears, milk pails, and heaters. And we could even purchase some animals. But we need to uh, build some farms, buildings, and so some coops and barns before we can get some of those. So, let's see what we can find. Oh, here's Leah. Let's say hi. Oh, wow, you can see there's a woodpecker up there. He flew away. And some wild horseradish and some dandelions and we can now make some wild seeds brilliant Ooh, and a few spring onions too we've got three spring onions oh and that means we can't fit one which means there must be a gold one there we go we've got a golden spring onion i should have thrown away this fiber but I did misclick there, so I did throw away a daffodil. And that's not exactly what we want, but it's done now. We have to live with that. So let's head back up through our farm. And let's clear it out as we go. See if we can make a nicer path. Travel. Ooh. Now I'm not strong enough to break that rock yet, so we'll leave that for now. Oh, another geode. I'll come back and get these in a moment. And we'll just break all of these. And we'll just carve ourselves a path through the grass. Perfect. And let's get these seeds down first then. Now let's sell these. Okay, 
there we go, that's space for the last six ones. There we go. So let's water these crops. And then we can go and grab the things we dropped when we were digging that path. Maybe we can make the path a little bit bigger as well. We'll break a few more things on the way. There we go. I'll break these rocks as well. So we've got some wood, some geodes, and well, one geode, some coal. Let's break a few more stones. And we'll cut down this tree here as well. If we get enough wood, we can um, build the bridge on the beach. Then we'll be able to loot all of the rock pools. So there we go. So we've got 242 wood and we need 300, so we're not quite there yet. But we do have another geode to open uh, tomorrow. Actually, let's see if we can make some field snacks and cut a bit more wood before we go to sleep. So one, two... Oh, we don't have any... What are they called? So acorns come from oak trees. It's the thing that comes from this type of tree, maple trees. There we go, a maple seed. Now, if we get a couple more maple seeds, we can make some food snacks. There we go. And let's do that now. We can eat those. And there we go. That's another 90 energy. Now, I'm going to quickly time lapse cutting down some trees. Okay, so we've got enough wood now to build that bridge. And we've got a geode. And so that's been a pretty successful day, I think. We've managed to get all the stuff we need. Uh, to build the bridge, and we've even got a geo to break in the morning. So, I think that's time for bed. And we've unlocked uh, level 2 foraging, which means we're slightly better with our axe, and we've unlocked the survival burger. And we got 130 gold from foraging. We can see we got 12 gold for the best spring onion, we got 10 gold for the silver spring onion, and we got 8 gold for the rest of them, and then we got 60 gold for a leak. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've had a really good morning. This has been episode 4 of Morning Farm, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode.